What's going on everyone? Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. The basketball legend, the icon, the mogul, the businessman, the family man, the father, the incredible man that left an incredible legacy on all of us, not just the sports world, but just the world in general. And he is a truly missed person. He is somebody that was gone too soon. The Mamba, the Mamba mentality, all of that. And the man that would have been on the inside the NBA crew. Yes, that is correct. Charles Barkley confirmed on the Volume podcast with uh, Draymond Green that Kobe Bryant joined them on Inside the NBA. He relays that he signed a contract and that he was willing to be a part of the Inside the NBA crew, which I think would have been fantastic. The only problem was he didn't want to do all like the little press stuff and, you know, do the little shows on the side here and there. He just wanted to go do the Inside the NBA show, you know, maybe talk give his basketball insight, which would have been incredible. And so apparently it doesn't really work like that. Unfortunately, I I think if I had the opportunity and I was the higher ups, the reps of the inside, the NBA crew, I would have done that. I'd be like, tell you what, whatever you want to do, come on in. I mean, Kobe Bryant, I mean, you're talking about a legend and icon, one of the greatest basketball minds ever. Like, why wouldn't you allow him to do essentially whatever he wants? Just come, hey man, just come on the show and talk for 10 minutes. I mean, the the amount of audience that you would attract would be through the roof. And he is an incredible businessman. He showed that after basketball. He showed what he was capable of and putting his mentality towards business and so on and so forth. You know, I mean, he started the venture capitalist company that was extremely successful And the mind, the mind in which he operates and the mind in which he works would have been incredibly fascinating to watch him just break down film, him just, you know, at halftime while the Lakers are playing or whatever, whatever team, it doesn't really matter, but just watching him just relay and going to the board and pushing Kenny down and saying, you know, look at this, look at that. I mean, it would have been such an incredible insight, more so than anybody on the panel currently. And I love the Inside the NBA crew. I mean, they are absolutely fantastic. But Kobe would have brought a completely different perspective, a completely different mind, a different a different mentality altogether because that was just Kobe Bryant. And to see that on screen, to see that translate through discussions, I think would have truly been remarkable. I mean, he had opportunities uh, and we've seen him do like little interviews and little breakdowns and be special guests on certain spots, so on and so forth. But to, to have him be like a regular mind on that crew would have been fantastic. Even if he wasn't there every time, even if like once a month we got him, that would have been amazing. That would have been fantastic. And, and I don't, I, I don't know because we didn't get a ton of detail. And it's something that no, like Charles Barkley said, only 10 people in the world knew about at that time. You know, nobody really knew it was a, as a, you know, secret that was put away in the vault uh, because it never actually came to be. But I wonder why not. I wonder if, because it, it sounds based on how he was telling, he didn't go into crazy details, but it sounds like this all happened before, you know, the tragic event of his passing. So it, I don't know why, why wouldn't you at least get him on and let him get a feel for it? You know, maybe he changes his mind. I, I mean, I understand Kobe Bryant being on the inside, the NBA crew. I mean, it, 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 I'm sure it, there's a lot of work. There's not, it's not just as simple as like, you know, coming on, sitting on the panel, having a discussion, you know, I mean, these guys are constantly working, developing, doing all kinds of stuff. Like Charles Barkley said, you know, they're doing all kinds of like press promotions, things like that. I mean, obviously the volume, him talking on, you know, the Draymond Green show, that was proof in in itself, you know, that he's doing all this work. I mean, Shaq, he's constantly marketing, not only himself, but all his ventures. You know, you got Ernie and uh, Kenny, they're they're both, you know, constantly doing stuff or doing interviews. Uh, Ernie, I mean, is a legend. I mean, he's an icon in and of himself. Himself. I mean, Ernie, there, there's never been another Ernie. I mean, he is fantastic. And he has really been the anchor for that show since its inception, you know, since its creation. And even the documentary of the Inside the NBA was really fascinating to dive into each of them and how they sort of came into the spot that they became in. And, and it was just really fascinating. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you check it out, the Inside the NBA documentary. But sticking with Kobe Bryant, I don't know why you wouldn't I know I don't know why you wouldn't have at least given him a couple spots, especially if he was willing to do the inside the NBA thing. I just think from no matter how you look at it, from a marketing business, uh, you know, basketball insight perspective, it would make too much sense not to have him on, even if he didn't want to do all the press stuff. Who's to say he wouldn't? 
you know, he might he might not do it the way that the others have, which is understandable. I mean, he was building a, a business empire before his passing. You know, he was doing all kinds of, you know, major ventures and, and things like that. So I understand he probably didn't have the time to go and do the press junkets and stuff like that. But why not just bring him on in a guest spot? You know, just have him as a reoccurring guest spot and just say, hey, you know, and, and yes, you could argue it might not have been fair to everyone else involved. But, I mean, it's again, it's Kobe Bryant, you know? Like, it, it's a guy in and of itself. And, you know, I, who knows? Maybe it would have developed one day. Maybe we would have seen something along those lines. Uh, unfortunately, there's so much that is still left unanswered and so many things that we'll never truly ever find out or realize. There, I'm sure there were all kinds of things in the works, all kinds of business deals, all kinds of just, you know, foundations and foundations and all kinds of stuff. I mean... Kobe Bryant was was an entity in and of itself. You know, I mean, he was even when he passed, it was it was almost like he was too big to die. As silly as that sounds, it was like like wow, like it. I mean, it still hits to this day for Kobe Bryant fans and just fans of the basketball world in general. Um, you know, it, it's definitely one that you just never really expect. You know, it's I don't know I don't know how to properly explain it, but you know, I, I would have loved to have seen his basketball mind on the inside crew, just breaking down games. I think that that would have been amazing. And and in my opinion, such a missed opportunity. And I understand maybe you, it kind of goes like, hey, like you can't do this unless you do this other stuff. But like, I don't know. I If it was me, I would just be like, if I was the higher up, I would be like, we need to figure something out. You need to work it out. Like, even if you do like three guest spots just to see what the ratings are. Because I just think the ratings would have been fantastic. I think from every standpoint, Kobe Bryant being on that panel, having those discussions with the guys, you know, even maybe seeing him and Shaq having little like back and forth and little beefs and taking little jabs at each other. I mean, just think about the potential. I mean, it, it really is a missed opportunity. And, and uh, you know, it's something that we'll probably never really truly uh, get the, the full scope and full information on. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion and I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Would you have loved to see Kobe Bryant on the inside crew? Uh, do you think that it is a missed opportunity? Do you think, yes, that this is something that should have happened. It needed to happen. I don't know why it didn't happen. Or do you think like, no, like, you know, even Kobe Bryant, you have to, you know, you have to do what is necessary. You know, you can't get the prize without doing the 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 build up. You know, you can't you can't win first place without running the marathon, so to speak. Um, you know, I just again, I just look at it as like, I, I just feel like somebody like him, you make it work. You know, like Michael Jordan, even like LeBron, like these these Chris Paul, even like these incredible basketball minds that are unlike anybody else. As much as I love the inside crew, none of them have the basketball mind that Kobe Bryant has. And so to have him on sort of breaking things that I think it would just have added such a unique level and layer to just basketball, period, um, that that it's just something that I feel like you do. But, you know, I'd love to hear people's opinions, even if you disagree. Like, I'd love to hear, you know, your thoughts. And, and if you could just kind of explain a little bit uh, your mindset on that. And then, you know, of course, you know, Kobe Bryant Got to say it again. Rest in peace. Uh, it was uh, uh, somebody that, that I really was excited to see after basketball. You know, there's not very many players, athletes in general that, that many people truly want to see what will they achieve beyond basketball. You know, and Kobe Bryant was one of those people, at least in my was. He was just a legend amongst legends, you know, and, and it's just, and maybe it is. Maybe it's the fanboy in me. Maybe... You know, it's it's somebody. I grew up with Kobe Bryant. You know, he, he I watched him win championships. I grew up in L.A. You know, he was he was bigger than basketball. I mean, he was one of the biggest stars ever. I mean, it's it, it's it's just mind blowing the the kind of just life he led um, on and off the basketball court and the things that he achieved and and you know what he just the mentality as a whole from just all aspects from you know, life, business, uh, basketball, family. I mean, it was somebody that, that was an example and somebody that you really saw change courses r rather smoothly. Usually it's hard to, to adjust when you play, when you do anything for 20 years. 
And it just seemed so easy for him. And he just put those thoughts and that mentality into the next project. And he was he was successful in it. And it and he just is. He's just he really he really became something that we never really imagined. You know, you always saw Kobe, the killer, the Mamba. Uh, on the basketball court, and then once that went away, you just saw this completely different person, and it was really refreshing, and just the the philanthropy that he was doing, and just, you know, the family man that you saw, and just his whole persona really changed, because he got out of that, you know, I need to slit some throats on the court type thing to, to you know, let me help the broader world, like, it just, uh, it is, it's something, but anyway, Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. I'll see you all in the next one.